Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite lower ab exercises. So for your benefit guys, I'm going to be counting my reps. Um, usually I don't normally do this. I usually train my abs till I can't like feel them anymore, till they're like literally on fire. That's when I stop. So the first exercise we're going to do is called the leg drop and I'm not sure if this is the correct term for it. This is just my name for it by the way. So we're going to start with our legs up in the air and we're going to be dropping one leg at a time. Make sure that it stays straight all the way through. So I worked out my glutes yesterday and my hamstrings are in so much pain. Um, but that's why I can't keep my legs as straight as they should be. Um, but guys, please do make sure you keep your legs straight because you really want to engage those lower ab muscles. Next one up is the toe touches. And how you know you're doing this correctly is that from the moment your toes are up into the moment they tap on the ground, your lower ab muscles are literally engaged the entire time. Up next is the flutter kicks. Now the way I do the reps for this exercise is a bit different from the other exercises and I'll show you what I mean. Um, so let me start from, okay, so that's one. My legs are going up and I'm still on one. They're going to come down. That's one rep. My legs are going to go up again, two, and they're going to come down to those two reps. And I'm going to keep doing that all the way up until I get to 15 and then I'll take a five second break. So the next one is the elevated leg raises. Now for this one, make sure that your upper body is rested on your elbows and we are gonna bring our knees all the way as close to our chest as possible and out straight. For this one, we're gonna do 15 on each leg, okay? 15 on each leg. Now when you bring your leg out from your chest, make sure that it's going as straight as you possibly can and make sure that you don't touch the floor. If you touch the floor, it's a, it should be like a light tap. You shouldn't be resting up um, on your leg on the floor at all. Up next is one of my favorite. This is the leg raises and reverse crunches. Now this is basically like two exercises in one. Um, but yeah, we're gonna bring our knees all the way close to our chest as we possibly can And then we're gonna extend them all the way out and then we're gonna do a little Like reverse hop if that makes sense, but we can basically see what I'm doing Now when I do the leg raises I like to lift my legs as high up as I possibly can so I end up lifting my, just my butt, a little bit of my butt off the floor. And remember to do 15, okay guys, it's 15 reps. The last exercise we're going to do is the knee to elbow touches. Now your knee and your elbows should be touching when you bring your knee in. Okay guys, hence the name knee to elbow touches. Um, I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure if this is the actual correct term for this exercise. But this is just what I call it and it makes sense to me. <laughs> We're almost done. Keep on going. And um, yeah, just so you know, this is the last exercise of this with two uh, lower up um, workout routine. Do let me know if you like this type of um, exercises because I feel like I, to me, I, I tried my best to keep them as short as possible because I feel like it'll be easy to follow. If you want it to be a bit longer, if you need more exercise in the workout, do let me know and I'll make sure that the next one will be much longer. That's it for today's video. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know in the comment section what area of the body you want me to show you some exercise on next 
And also make sure you keep in touch with me on my Instagram. And also make, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe.